we have been seeing at least I think some expressions from your concerns in terms of trying to understand the metrics by which corporations will be measured uh, if I can put it simply in terms of applying these ESG standards do we actually have standards we can really believe no I think the first issue is we don't even know what ESG means so I think defining that would be a, a, an important first step before trying to develop metrics what do you think it means well, I think it means different things to different people, and I think it's it's a way for people to signal that they're they're trendy uh, and they're investing in a way that's that's consistent with those trends. But it also enables them to have a fair amount of discretion about what they're doing when they're investing using that label. And so that's that's my concern. You know, people have been thinking about ESG type issues for um, as long as they've been investing because obviously it matters how a company treats its employees, how it treats the community in which it operates. Um, those kinds of things have always been important. Governance has always been important. And so the, the idea that these things are new, I think, is, is wrong. Um, they have been incorporated by investment managers, asset managers, and by companies uh, for a long time. And so I'm not even sure we need to, to try to define those things. Right. Well, as we pointed out, of course, and as we've seen this year, a lot of money is moving into um, to funds that at least have an overlay of ESG. What is the SEC looking at right now in terms of trying to help investors understand what the fund should be doing when they say they have an ESG focus? Well, I think there's, again, really nothing new here. Uh, we're, we're looking at what, what a fund says to investors about what it does and making sure that what it says matches up with what it actually does. Uh, that's really the fundamental role of the SEC is to make sure that if someone's taking your money to manage it for you, um, what the person is telling you is accurate about how, how the money is being managed, whether that's managing according to some kind of model or using an ESG strategy. You just have to be upfront with investors about what you're doing. Uh, Commissioner Pierce, I mean, the USDA certifies what's organic. Uh, there are standards that they set out there, and I guess pr producers have to abide by them if they want to call their product organic. Could something similar happen with ESG from some government agency? Well, again, I think that given that ESG incorporate, encompasses so many different things, I'm not sure that you could come up with a clear standard. Um, and so it's, you know, even on core financial reporting issues, it's really difficult ac across the diversity of companies to figure out how to how to compare from company to company. And that's why we have um, a lot of work going on, on on core accounting standards. That's where I think the SEC uh, has more to say than it does on a nebulous category of ESG standards. Right. But there is, to be fair, there is an effort underway to try to... Um to measure these things within peer groups and even across the board. Uh, I'm aware of it, certainly, and I assume you are as well. Yeah, and I think, I mean, you, you raise a good point, and, and those efforts are fine. Industries may want to sit down with their investors and, and understand what it is the investors want from them and, and then come up with some metrics that work for those particular industries, and that's fine. I think those private sector efforts can be valuable and, and um, they're going on, but I don't know that we at the SEC need to be involved in that. We have a touchstone, which is materiality, and that applies across a whole range of issues that companies deal with. We expect companies to be disclosing the risks that they face, um, the material risks they face, and sometimes those are in the area that some people might categorize as ESG, but there already are rules on the books that have them disclosing those things. Right. But I think it's fair to say, or at least it certainly seems to be the expectation, this is not going anywhere. It's only going to get um, more popular, uh, it would see, as, a, as an approach. I mean, you've got an entire generation that seems much more focused on sort of uh, all the different things that a corporation does, not just in terms of uh, delivering shareholder value. Would you agree with that? And would you think that we are going to have to evolve in some way to be able to adequately measure ESG? Well, again, I, you know, I think there are efforts going on to measure individual components of what people call ESG, and that's fine. But in terms of evolving, you know, having corporations accountable to one group, and that is shareholders, is a really valuable way to make sure that they are doing the most that they can do for society. And so I don't, I don't think trying to give 
corporations and their managers multiple targets to multiple audiences to please is really a very wise idea. And I think it could end up hurting the very objectives that people who, who um, focus a lot on ESG purport to care about. How would that be the case? Well, so we've seen that when, uh, the, when companies do well, when they contribute to the economy and the economy does well, people start to care more about things like the environment. So we, we can actually do the best by having good, strong economic growth. And the way to do that is to have companies focus on their long-term financial value. And that's what a shareholder focus cares about, is the long-term financial value of the company. And then people can take the can take their earnings from those, and they can do with that, with it whatever they want. But I think the the really valuable uh, point is to make sure that companies know what their objective is, and that's to increase their long term financial value. All right. So from listening to you, then you certainly it, it appears to me you don't you would rather there was no ESG at all. Absolutely not. I think people should be able to invest their money in any way they choose. I, I'm the last person to want to tell people you should or shouldn't care about these particular things when you invest. But I think when I look at my role as a securities regulator, it's to get investors information that is material to their long-term financial investing decisions. Investors care about lots of other things. The things I care about are probably not the same things that you care about. And, and so the notion that we can come together and we can get our regulator to focus on an amorphous set of, of qualities other than the long-term financial value of a corporation, I think, I think we're fooling ourselves.